theme of youth empowerment and education. We, we need more and more and more youth engagement on the ground for them to get involved in politics. Both need to be taken care of, developing the mindset of the people, especially the youth, and at the same time providing the policy that allow them to express their political idea. So every election uh, season, we make sure that the women, the youth, the indigenous cultural communities, and the labor sector have seats uh, in the public. Parliament. Thinking about your why is important because advocacy is a slow process. It's not an overnight process. When I was growing up, we couldn't really get books here in Australia that had the lead character as an Asian person, let alone a Muslim person. My target was the Muslim population to have books out there that Muslims could see themselves in. I'm using a different method, a different medium, and uh, using animation, cartoons, and now videos to educate people. Uh, children. It's really inspiring to be in this discussion today. What's fascinating is that most speakers successfully go through the challenges despite facing a lot of struggle. I find that the most important thing that we need to do in order to build environmental awareness is to focus on the climate literate generation. If you want to do something, you really don't have to wait for things to be perfect. You just have to have the right uh, intention. When I went to the sea, I saw threat everywhere. It cannot change in my generation. But if we do continue regularly in the generation, our home, our country, our world can be cleaner. When we leave this earth, we are in a better situation than when we found it. Our Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, says that if the last hour were to come and in your hand was a sapling, then continue to plant it.